What's up guys, this is Sean from Sean Boxing. Welcome back to another episode of Hype Sneakers Review. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a sneakers reviewer based in Seoul, South Korea. I do sneaker reviews, on fee shots, resale predictions, and giveaway events. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, it really means a lot to me. All right, today I'm going to review a brand new Puma Rebound Layup Low sneakers in black white colorway. Puma for the first video of 2022. I did not see that coming. Obviously these shoes resemble some other popular sneakers like Nike Dunks and Louis Vuitton's LD trainers. I am not going to deny that. But there are some differences, not just in how these shoes are constructed, but the pricing is also quite different. This one is only 60 US dollars. There are some disputes on the internet about how Puma copied off of other brands, but I just wanted to check them out myself before jumping to a conclusion. I'm not really sure what the nickname of this product is, but for the sake of convenience, I'm just gonna call these the rebounds in this video. From the name itself, you can already tell the root for this product is in basketball, just like the Nike Dunks. All right, let's go have a look at the box first. I haven't done a Puma review for such a long time, but anyway, it's in the regular Puma box. On the box, it says Puma Rebound Layup Low SL. Colors are Puma White, dash Puma Black. Size I have is a US 8.5 or 265 millimeters. I put the style code in the description so you guys can check that out. I got these on the first day of 2022 at retail price of 79,000 Korean won. And as I mentioned, it is 60 US dollars. And here are the shoes. So rather than going through every detail of this shoe, I'm just gonna point out some of the key differences against Nike Dunks. I'll start with the leather quality. If you look close, Puma Rebounds have tumbled leather, which is normally considered higher quality used in sneakers. Even black and white Dunks do not offer this. Before I got really into sneakers, this wasn't on the top of my priority list when it comes to choosing which sneakers I want. But as I reviewed more and more sneakers, leather quality kind of grew in my mind. I'm sure a lot of sneakerheads feel the same way. Moving on to the color difference, very few. White shoelaces for rebounds and black shoelaces for dunks. Black insole for rebounds and white insole for dunks. Other than these, these two shoes are, you know, they're very similar in terms of the color blockings including the form strip on rebounds, swoosh on dunks, lace guards, lace guards, toe box, midsole, and everything pretty much. Moving back, rebounds have this heel tab, which I always find quite useful. Instead of a heel tab, Dunks have this Nike logo play, which Puma has its own font logo, just below the tab. Tongues are slightly different also. Rebounds have a solid leather tongue with Puma logo. And Dunks have a nylon tongue with Nike logo sitting atop. Insole is different. Rebounds have this detachable soft foam insole which is very spongy you can see and dunks they're glued on and they're not as spongy but they feel more like memory foam you know like Tempur-Pedic uh, mattresses almost outsoles the patterns are different they're slightly different but they have both black outsole with their logo plays in the middle these are supposed to be the same these are supposed to be the same sizes but you can kind of see that dunks are slightly longer. I tried these on and matched with my regular black jogger pants. In terms of sizing, I think it's okay to go with your true size. 
Honestly, the insole for rebounds are kind of whack. <laughs> it feels like I'm standing on a very thin layer of sponge so I can almost touch the floor. Overall though, considering how affordable the rebounds are, I think these are pretty dope shoes for what it's worth. Now let's check out the added height on these shoes. It got 1.7 for the rebounds and it's very similar, 1.7 for dunks as well. And the weight is 371 grams for rebounds and 375 for dunks. They don't just look similar, they weigh similar too. All right, that's it for today's review. What do you guys think about this shoe? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button to see more Hype Shoes reviews coming up. Thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video.